Hey guys, so I want to show you some things about saturation of an image that you may not have thought about before or may not even know about. But have you ever considered modifying the actual embedded saturation of an image? It requires using the filter HSB HSL. Okay, so let's go RGB to HSB. We get a wild result. But if we go to our channels and go to green, this is our saturation. But did you know you can actually modify it directly right now? I can't do an adjustment layer because I'm on a channel. So I'm going to hit Command or Control L and open levels while I'm on the green channel. But on the output levels, if I were to brighten it up, a linear increase of all the dark areas, just linear, this is not a curve or anything like that. By making it all brighter, I'm making everything more saturated in a different sort of way. So let's do this for a moment, okay? We'll go back to the RGB, and then we'll use the other action, HSB, back to RGB. And our end result is a weirdly saturated image where the lower saturation has been increased linearly. It's not smart, it's not particularly pleasing, but it's linear because I did it a lot, a whole lot. Let's try that again. Once again, now if I hit Command and Control L, let's say I just do on the output levels 20 on the low end and negative 20 here, that is 235. This is a saturation compression, if you will. So I'm taking the low saturation and bringing it up, taking the high saturation and bringing it down in a very linear manner, and then go from HSB back to RGB. Now let's look at the difference here. Off, on. Extremely subtle. But what we've done is we've done a saturation compression, not, you know, extracting a saturation mask and then putting layers, adjustment layers with that. 